Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jay Martinez and in today's video I want to talk about the framework that I used in order to book to book 30 plus appointments in a month, 30 plus calls in a single month and this is something that I did consistently as an appointment setter. I have more videos about about that, about that story and how much money in, in those videos I talk about how much money I made. But basically what I learned is that appointments are the lifeblood of any business. So basically, if you have a system that turns prospects into booked appointments consistently, you will never struggle again. So your business will grow, everything is going to work out because appointments are the foundation of any business. So you need to focus on this system in order to grow. And something interesting that I saw as an appointment setter is that the more appointments you book, the more money you are going to make most of the times, almost always, because I talked with other appointment setters, I paid for super expensive courses and I had access to a ton of information from other appointment setters and it was obvious to me that the guys that had a ton of appointments were making the most amount of money. Of course, at some point, you, you will need to make more money from those clients. So it's not like you will always have to get appointments and get more clients and more clients. At some point, you need to increase your lifetime revenue from those clients, but overall, if you want to go from zero to $10 million per year, you will need to book more appointments. And if you book, for example, five plus calls a day, you will end up, you will end up making tens of thousands of dollars a month and maybe even six figures per month. And if you book 10 plus calls per day, you will make multiple six figures per month or even $1 million per month. So it is pretty, pretty crazy. And I guarantee that this is going to be the case because it is, it is impossible not to get those results if you have this amount uh, of, of appointments. If we want to use a real scenario, if you have five appointments, five appointments per day, that will, mean, that will mean that you will have 150 calls a month. And if you have a 20% closing rate, and this is a very, very low, but this is, let's say that this is going to be normal, but it is a, bit, a little bit low. And if you sell a $5,000 program, like what you can see right here, you will end up making $150,000 per month. And even if these clients don't pay you in full, even if they uh, split their payments, even if they uh, have different payment plans, still you are going to hit $100,000 a month. And that's exactly what I saw personally as an appointment setter with other people. And, and yeah, for example, the biggest players in the game that I, that I saw, especially in this coaching consulting industry, they are making $1 million a month. Uh, but in this case, they, get, they are getting to these numbers because they have five to 15 calls per day. Sometimes they have even more, more than that. And they have three closers, for example, or you know, they have a big team, but they can do that because they have the, the right systems and they know the importance of getting a lot of traffic and a lot of appointments. So appointments are the most important thing. And basically, what this means is that if you want to scale your business, you need to book more appointments. And I know that I am repeating myself, but really, this is super important. And I know that this may seem obvious, but the reality is that most coaches and consultants don't understand the importance of these numbers, of hitting these uh, numbers. And most of the times they focus on other parts of their business, hoping that these other aspects are going to bring results or they, they don't have the right system, a, a really a structured system that is going to allow them to book a lot of appointments consistently. And this is the same thing that happened to me. When I had my own consulting business, I was not, uh, basically I didn't think that generating appointments was my issue. I thought that maybe I needed to improve my content, that I needed to, that I needed to, improve. I was thinking about a bunch of ideas that were not even important. And the same thing happens with other coaches and consultants. And the reality is that most of the times they need to focus on booking more appointments. You need to focus on getting us on having a system that will allow you to reach more people. So I, I will talk a little bit about that in, in a minute, but I didn't have a system to book appointments and therefore I, I didn't have the best results. It's, it's a, it is as simple as that. So if you are at $2,000 to $10,000 per month, you need to hire an appointment setter right away because they will put the time, they will work 40 hours for your business and they will do the outreach and they will send the messages consistently without you having to, without you having to do anything really. Of course, 
uh, there are certain things that you have that you have to do or in my case right now I'm helping my clients to to hire and manage uh, appointment setters but in this case uh, they will do the job for you they will do the hard work for you and you don't have to be super dis super disciplined to do the outreach every day and they are going to help you and you need to have a proven framework that turns prospects into booked appointments and this is what I will show in a minute right here but let, let's finish with this part so if you are at fifty thousand dollars per month or more then in this case you have to double down on your efforts and when it comes to outreach when it comes to uh, your appointment setters that that you have you need to double down on your efforts in order to increase those numbers those kpis that your employees your appointment setters will have to hit but uh, that's something that you have to do and another thing is that you have to improve your system and frameworks in order to increase the appointments you book. So in this case, you will need to use automations. For example, you will need to post more content in order to nurture your, your, your audience so you can book more appointments without you having to send more messages. So I am, what I am trying to say is that you can be more efficient with your systems. And in some cases, of course, you may start using paid traffic. So you can start using uh, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, it depends on your niche and your strategy, uh, your situation, but you can send these people to your Facebook group, you can sell a low ticket offer, you can sell, you can create, you can set up a BSL and then use that BSL to book appointments directly. So those are some options, but it's interesting to see that a lot of people are making 100k, 200k per month without having to use paid traffic. So I will cover that in, an, in another video, but uh, overall, the idea here is that you need to book more appointments. Now, I was talking about all of those things because I wanted to show you the importance of you booking more appointments. That is something essential in your business. And now, uh, if we are talking specifically about the framework that I used to, that I, that I was using to, to book 30, calls, uh, 30 plus calls a month, this is exactly what I did. So again, this is how I booked one to five calls per day on average. Sometimes I was booking more than that and sometimes, but sometimes those calls were unqualified. Sometimes I was booking like eight calls per day, but three or four of them were not qualified. So that's why I am going to stick to this number, one to five calls. Of course, that is not a super crazy number, but at the end of the day, you don't need to have crazy numbers in order to, to scale your business. If you are at $2,000 per month, for example, you just need, for example, 10 calls per, per month and you will end up getting two clients for, uh, for your $5,000 pro $5, product. And if you do that, you will end up adding $10,000 per month to your business. So it's not like you need to have crazy numbers. Of course, you need to have those in order to go to to five hundred thousand dollars per month and that but and more than that of course but uh, what i am trying to say is that this is the framework that works for me and the framework that has worked for other appointment setters uh, as well so basically this is the process so you will have a conversation on facebook or instagram you will send people to an application form on calendly usually and then you will book up you will book the appointment and of course that booked appointment will go to a sales call with your closer or with you. So that is overall the, the strategy. But in this case, I want to focus on this, on this part, this conversation part, because this is, in my opinion, this is the most important part of this process, because of course, once they are in the application form, most of the times they will book a call or, or they will be, or you know, you will have to follow up with them and they will book, they will go to the application form again and they will book a call. But in the most important part, happens right here and of course right here because you will sell the, you will sell your product or service but again this part is for for another video so uh, when it comes to the conversation uh, I was uh, you, you you basically can, you will basically have two categories inbound lead and outbound, outbound lead so inbound can be a Facebook group request uh, it can be a two-step post they will comment something ab about your post something about your uh, something that you have to offer, for example, in the two-step post, you will say, who wants the script that I used to book 30 calls per month? Comment uh, me, and then I will send you the script. So this is a two-step post. I'm, I'm probably, probably you already know that, but 
I just wanted to say that sometimes you will get direct messages and sometimes people will reply to your stories or your content. And when it comes to outbound leads, of course, these are going to be an audience that will be completely cold. And this is going to be a little bit harder, but still it is doable. It is, it is doable. And not only, not only that, it, <laughs> targeting cold audiences is also essential in order to reach more people, right? So when it comes to the conversation, this is exactly what I did. And you can pause this video and, and you can take a screenshot if you want, but this is what I did. So first you have to understand their situation. And this could be by asking something like, how many clients are you working with right now? Where are you at with your business? How your business is going? And of course, if you have a different type of offer, uh, for example, if you are talking about fitness, how, how is your health going? Oh, well, maybe that is not the best example, but yeah, how's everything going? You know, you have to understand their situation. I'm probably sure that you understand uh, that you will know how to ask those questions for your niche. But overall, the idea is that you have to understand their situation. After that, uh, you need to understand their goals. And in this case, you will have to say something like, where are you planning to take your business by the end of the year? Or uh, how does your dream body look like by the end of the year, for example? or how many dates do you want to have in the next three months? It can be anything, right? What's your big, another example is, what's your biggest goal? What kind of plans do you have for X? Uh, what's, what's next for you? Those are questions that will help you to, to get the information when it comes to this point. And some people will tell you that these questions are weird. I mean, not your prospects. What I am trying to say is that some people will say, some people in this industry will say you don't have to ask those questions because they are super intrusive or these are weird questions that you don't need to ask to your prospects but the reality is that this works and it is just a matter of doing the work most of the times they say you don't have to do that but that but then they don't end up ha they don't end up having the results that they want so that's why this works this system works so yes some people are not going to answer your questions but after having almost how many conversations I had, I don't know, in, I was having tens of thousands of conversations, probably they were a ton. I only got one person that told me, stop asking me those questions or why you ask those questions. So nobody, nobody will say something like that. They will just, they are not going to answer your question or they are going to say something uh, that is vague. But overall, they will almost always they will answer your questions or they are not going to answer. But if you follow up with them at some point, they will answer your questions. So the next point, you will need to understand their roadblocks. So what's stopping you from hitting uh, that $10,000 a month goal? What do you think is holding you back from hitting that goal? So in this case, you have to understand the roadblocks. What is stopping them from getting uh, their desired outcome? And then after that, you just have to confirm their situation. So you just have to make sure that uh, they are on the same page. You have to make sure that you really understand their situation, their roadblocks, their, their goals. Because if you don't do this, you will end up proposing the call without having the right context. You will propose a call without having information, with, without really understanding what they need. And in my case, for example, if someone tells me, if someone talks about something that I really need, I will be more likely to listen to listen to what they have to say. However, if they try to say some generic stuff, I am not going to be really enticed to answer those questions or those. I, I am not going to be super motivated to continue the process with that person. So that's why you need to understand that information that your prospects are going to give you. And then you have to use that information to convince them that you actually understand them and that you actually have the answers to their problems, have their answers to their questions. So you have to confirm the situation. In this case, you can do something like this. Just to make sure we are on the same page here, if you had a way to fix your, your problem, uh, then you would hit that goal. Uh, am I right? And yeah, they will tell, yeah, basically that's what I need. Or they will say something like, uh, yeah, but maybe something else that I need is this and then you will have more information and then after that that's when you can promote that's what you that's when you can propose the call so basically you will have to say something like this 
Would it make sense if we hop on a strategy session? Would it make sense if we hop on a call? I will talk about uh, how you can create really good offers so that you can book more calls when it comes to how, what kind of uh, names and what kind of things you can say in order to turn this sales, sales uh, call into something more attractive. For example, uh, if you are in the dating niche, in the dating industry, you can say something like, I will review uh, your Tinder profile and then I will uh, explain you how you can get better results, for example. And that's how you can get more calls. I will talk about that in another video, but overall, this is what you're going to say. Would it make sense if we hop on a strategy session, on a sales call, not, not a sales call, on a call, uh, so I can show you how you can overcome your problem in order to hit your goal in this time frame. Um, that's it. After that, some of them are not going to answer. Most of them will answer. They will say yes or no. And if they say no, you just have to handle their objections. That's why here, uh, having a little bit of experience when it comes to sales will be helpful. Or if you want to learn more about this, uh, you will have to. You will, you will always find the answers in the when you when you look for videos about sales. If you learn more about sales, you will be a really good appointment setter. Uh, and yeah, after that, you just have to send a confirmation message before the call, uh, once they booked the call, of course. So basically, that's the framework that you have to use. This may seem super simple, uh, but this is something that works. And I was not using this when I was doing appointment setting for my own business. I was just sending messages, super random messages without a purpose. And I was just talking about anything. I remember that I had a conversation. I had multiple conversations with multiple people and we had like super long conversations and they were not, they were just conversations that were going in circles. So you don't want you don't want that because you don't want to lose your time. Of course, you have to listen to your uh, prospects, but you don't want to, to talk about random stuff all the time. You need to have a purpose on your questions. You need, to do, you need to be efficient with your time because at the end of the day, this is a business, right? And you need to grow that business. So basically, that's it. When it comes to cold outreach, uh, you need to be a little bit less aggressive with these questions, especially at first. And you have to move these conversations towards a business topic uh, slowly. So, for example, the conversation will start uh, with a different topic and then slowly this will start to become more and more about their business or about their situation. Of course, I am talking about business here, but this can be, uh, th this will, you can use this information for your specific niche, for your specific industry. But when it comes to cold outreach, this is basically the same thing that you have to do. Uh, you will need to, to send more messages in order to get, in order to book more appointments. But overall, this will work with cold, uh, with with completely cold leads. So this is exactly what you have to do uh, in order to book more appointments, especially if you are using Facebook and Instagram. And this is mainly for coaches and consultants, mainly yeah, mainly because uh, you will have, you will have, mainly because your audience will be on Facebook, on Instagram, usually. If you have a B2, B2B business, sometimes you can consider using LinkedIn and, and things can be a little bit different. But even if you have a B2B offer, a lot of times you can find those clients on Instagram and Facebook and you will have to follow the same, the same framework. Again, this may seem super simple, but again, uh, this was something that was super powerful uh, in order to book more appointments. So I hope that uh, this oh, yeah hopefully this this framework is going to be useful and if you want more help and if you want me to review your conversations uh, just send me a message i will be happy to help and if you want to see the scripts that i am using ju again just send me a message on instagram or on facebook i will have the, the links below or you know you can find the you can find the links but yeah basically this is something that works for me and and and, and yeah Booking appointments is super, super important. Appointments are super important. And that's it for this video. If you have more suggestions about other topics that I need to cover, just let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.